probably Bohemian Rhapsody, even though that was controversial, even though people kept saying it was like a like three hour long TikTok. Did you watch the Oscars? I did. And what did you think about them? You know, my guy Bradley Cooper got screwed. He he should have won it. Lady Gaga should have won it. Star is Born should have won it. And what did you think about the Oscars? Um, it was a magical, amazing experience to watch. Uh, I thought it was a lot more efficient without a host. I honestly, I kind of missed the fact that like there wasn't a host. I feel like a host just makes it like more cohesive and playful. I really don't think Green Book should have won over Roma, and I really don't think Bohemian Rhapsody was even close to being deserving of the movie that won the most awards. Did you see Rami Malek fall off the stage? Yeah, I did. I mean, I have respect for that guy. He just won the best actor, which only a few people win. So, you know got back up it's all about it's not about how hard you fall it's about how fast you get back up <laughs> True. I thought I don't know he seems like such an interesting guy like a little bit eccentric <laughs> um so it doesn't surprise me that he fell off the stage um I, I heard he's okay yes um relatable <laughs> um kind of funny kind of sad <laughs> it's just kind of in his I think that's his brand though yeah, just falling yeah. off stages sure. <laughs> yeah I felt awful. Like, I didn't even know that happened until after, like, the ceremony and I saw the news and everything. And I was like, oh, that sucks. I had no idea. I think he deserved it. You, okay. And uh, do you think he should uh, have won Best Actor? Not for lip syncing in Bohemian Rhapsody, no. Okay. I am the one, the one you I pretended Rami Malek wasn't even there in the first place. I did see Rami Malek fall off the stage and it was kind of like a yes, the universe is is uh getting him back a little bit for being in a movie with a known pedophile. Yes. So, yeah. Next question. Uh, what were you pleasantly surprised by? Well, so I was a huge favorite fan and so when Olivia Coleman won for the favorite that was fantastic um and was very unexpected cuz like Glenn Close was the front runner going into it, so I was very happy about that. This is hilarious. Um, I was really happy with Olivia Coleman's win. I like gasped. I was so happy. Thank you. Oh. Her speech was perfect. Like it made me fall in love with her. Oh, thank you so much. I was very happy that Olivia Coleman won Best Actress. Yes. Uh, and did you enjoy her speech? I I did definitely enjoy her speech. She was very um, shocked. Olivia Coleman. Um, and it was. A bit chaotic, but in the best way. What did you think of uh, Bradley Cooper and Lady Gaga's performance? I felt real bad for Irina Shayk, honestly. Like, I loved it. I was living for it, but I wouldn't want to be her. Oh, I didn't. I, like, muted that when I first, like, saw it. And then people were, like, saying it was, like, beautiful. So then I watched it, like, the next day. And it was okay. It wasn't, I don't think it was beautiful. A hundred people in, there can be in a one room, right? And 99 don't believe in you, but just one believes. Do you think that Gaga and Cooper might have a uh, romance? <laughs> um, I don't know. She's just so passionate and like sells the campy aspects of whatever persona she's being that night. So she's very definitely playing that whole like, Yes, we're in love. I'm an actress coming up in this like glamorous role. I'm going to be here to like get here to get my Oscar. Like it was very much that. So she played the part very well. I will say that. Oh my gosh. Bradley Cooper's wife, she screwed or his girlfriend. Like they're, there's no way they don't get together. I think they're just really good at acting. <laughs> I think that they're truly soulmates, and they just now figure that out. Oh, all I can say is Bradley Cooper's, like, girlfriend, fiancé, baby mama, like, oh, she better hold on to him tightly, because that was, that was a performance there.